Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Um, sorry for the real late episode last night. I cannot get my video to process. I tried three different times on two different computers. It was not working out. And I finally decided to work around 2.30 in the morning, which was not happy for me. So then I fell asleep and woke up at 9. <laughs> Anyway, um, we're doing my makeup episode from last week because I've been kind of sick and dealing with stuff. So, this is season 5, episode 13 of The Flash Call King Shark vs. Gorilla Grodd. So, we start off with Barry and um, Nora can't move. And then we have King Shark and Gorilla Grodd are about to fight. And then we go to 12 hours earlier. And can I just say, Ralph, of that, I don't even like that really. <laughs> Like, quit showing stuff that's going to be 12 hours ahead of time. I feel like they've done that, like, four times already this season, I feel like. And it's like, can y'all stop? It's not, no. Anyway, so we found out that Cisco has a cure, but they need to test it first. So, um, Barry talks to Lila about King Shark and, like, how that might be a potential candidate for that. So, Iris visits Joe and Cecile, and... Um, I was just being very skirtish about Cicada and kind of like, I, I just want to talk about family stuff. And then the scientist, who is, forgot her name already. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Tanya. Uh, basically, um, is helping King Shark and is being more human thanks to a device on his head. And so they go to talk to him, and then he heard a signal and um, hurt Cisco and was tr and um, escaped. <clears throat> then we go back to our visit with Cecile and Joe, and being more skirtish again, and Lee saying she makes up excuse like a pipe burst in her apartment, and Joe's like, "I'll help, you know, I know a person that'll do it." And she's like, "No, no, no, it's fine, bye, bye." And then we cut to um, Wells versus the scientist and it kind of makes her own conclusions. And then we got a ping on the radar saying that King Shark is at the wharf. And basically he, was, he grabs this guy like he's going to like literally eat him. But um, Barry decided to inject him anyway and he basically fell in the water and came up human again. And then passed out and woke up spazzed out in Star Labs. And he wants to take responsibility for what he did. He basically remembers everything he did. But, you know, he was still like a shark, basically. His shark brain, or I guess, took over. But not really, because he still remembered anything. But anyway, he wants to take responsibility. And he started turning back a, a little bit, then it went back. Then Tanya kind of spazzes out and leaves because um, they're about to hold hands. Then the shark thing happened and she was like, oh, I can't, I gotta go. Then we cut to where Caitlin says good fuss about, fuss out Barry for doing what he did. <laughs> and then we cut to where Iris is at jitters and Joe shows up and confronts her. And basically she can't stand her office because of the whole cicada things. So Joe's gonna be taking, it's like, it's like, get your stuff, we're going somewhere. And then we have Caitlyn um, has this, um, suspicions about the helmet and everything, about what was happening. And then all of a sudden, um, Grodd took over Cisco and Caitlyn, and um, him, them, they handed him the device and he escaped. And then we cut to where Grodd is going to increase his power with this uh, crown that we're calling it, the device. And it's going to like exponentially increase his powers, basically. <laughs> and then we cut to where Wells talks to Tanya about love and, ba and basically tells her to go for it. So she does, she literally kisses, what's his name, Shay. And then, because basically this is Earth 2 of her husband that died in a particle accelerator. So it's basically his doppelganger from Earth 2 and you know she feels kind of guilty about the about that but mm -hmm. good lord sorry that was my phone <laughs> and so uh, she so she's kind of over it now or still you know anyway she kisses him then Joe really want um really went to Tibet to heal and to like talk and work stuff out 
And um, then we cut to where Iris uh, tells Iris to punch the bag, and so she does and feels a little bit better. And then we cut to her grot, it's at the top of the tower, which is like the highest tower in the city to best execute uh, the whole mind control thing. So Barry has a plan to KO him, and they do, but um, he woke up super quick and basically froze them. And um, so Shay offers to help, and so if he goes back to King Shark, he basically um, if he goes back to being King Shark, he literally can't go back to being human, and it'll be permanent. But with his uh, type of brain, he won't be as susceptible to the mind control as everyone else. So, <clears throat> oh my god. So, <clears throat> where was I? <laughs> so he'll do it, and basically it's a big mannequin challenge throughout the entire city. And uh, everyone's frozen, they're trying to figure out what they're going to, you know. <laughs> And so then we cut back to the original scene where Barry and uh, Nora are frozen and they can't move. And so it's King Shark versus Gorilla Grodd and have a really epic fight scene. And then uh, Grodd KOs King Shark, but then Team Flash. Um, so basically, uh, Barry and Nora got, um, they started to be able to move again because of everything. And, and basically, they um, threw what... Tanya said is they can shoot electricity at the shark and he'll absorb the electricity and will wake up because he was sitting upside down which made him um, unconscious and paralyzed because that's what happens to sharks when they're upside down. So they hit him with electricity and then have another fight scene where um, it's Gorilla Grodd versus uh, King Shark and he manages to KO Gorilla Grodd. And so Lila's going to put Grodd in a medically induced coma because if he was awake, it's not going to be great because of the soul powers. Then Tanya is starting to feel down and then Will's chills are up and then they have a touchy moment between Tanya and King Shark or Shay with the um, crown on. It was actually a very touchy moment and he says, I'll do it again for my love, which I thought was cute. Then we have Iris is at her office and it's starting to feel good about it. Then Barry apologizes to oh, Caitlin and Cisco, and he wants to um, offer the cure to Cicada. And that's the end of the episode. So, crazy episode. I really liked it. I give this a minus. And um, basically, I love the fight scenes. Uh, I don't. I had my doubts about this episode, I really did, but after watching it, I, it was super enjoyable and super fun to watch, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I don't know, I, I, I like how, you know, Sh um, Shay or King Shark wanted to take responsibility for his actions and everything, and we finally have Joe back, which, which was awesome, I'm so happy he's back, I'm glad he's doing better, and you know, we got to hear about Tibet and about Wally and all that type of stuff. So I thought that was really a fun, um, fun scenes in the episode. I'm super tired, so I'm going to cut it here. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, comment down below. I know I'm delirious and tired. But anyway, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a bunch. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.